If you have a turkey meatloaf skeptic in your life, this recipe will change their minds. This meatloaf is full of flavor, juicy in the middle, and has become a favorite. The secret to this recipe is mushrooms. I bet you'll love this meatloaf even if you don't like them. You don't really taste them, but they make sure that the turkey tastes amazing and stays juicy inside. After cleaning them, chop the mushrooms into tiny pieces. If you don't want to do this by hand, use a food processor. Next, we need to chop one onion. Just like with the mushrooms, we want it chopped small. Last but not least, we need some minced garlic. I'm mincing two cloves. Cook the onions in a tablespoon of oil until softened, about five minutes. Stir in the garlic and cook for a minute, then add the mushrooms along with a half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Cook until the mushrooms give off their liquid and it boils away. This takes around 10 minutes. See how much they've cooked down? That's what we're looking for. Transfer the onions and mushrooms to a big bowl and then stir in one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and three tablespoons of ketchup. Let this cool for a few minutes. In another bowl, combine a cup of breadcrumbs with a third cup of milk. Now let's put everything together. Stir in the milk and breadcrumbs as well as two eggs to the mushroom mixture. Now add one and a quarter pounds of ground turkey. Season the turkey with a bit of salt and pepper and then mix. Line a baking sheet with some foil and lightly oil it. Then form the meatloaf into a nine inch by five inch oval. Spread four tablespoons of ketchup on top, then bake in a 400 degree F oven until an instant read thermometer inserted into the thickest part of the meatloaf registers 170 degrees Fahrenheit, about 50 minutes. When it's done, if you notice any cracks on top, fill them with a little extra ketchup. No one will ever know. And that's it. Juicy in the middle and absolutely delicious turkey meatloaf. We hope that you try it. As always, the full recipe is on Inspired Taste. Enjoy, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you love this video, we have lots more. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We're at Inspired Taste.